Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Join me as I try to boost my JUnit test by 30 times with this simple trick. Can I really make it happen? Let's find out. When you're really good at a large code base, it's not uncommon to have thousands of tests that has to be run regularly. And that is exactly when the problem starts. The execution time can be painfully slow, making difficult your development cycle. I have my unit test suite with eight test classes. Each test class contains eight tests that generates a random number and uh, make an assertion on it. There is also an artificial sleep time of one second in each, each test. Let's run the test and see what happens. We should expect the test to run for about one minute because we have eight test classes. Eight test cases in each class that takes one second to complete, in total 64 seconds, more or less, right? As we can see in the output, uh, we have total time of 1.05 uh, minutes as expected. Now let's do the trick. Let's create a junit-platform.properties file under source test resource directory. Let me paste these uh, four properties in it. The first property is to enable or disable the parallel execution on JUnit. The second and third property are to change the mode for the test cases and the test classes respectively, and it has two possible values, same thread and concurrent. Same, th same thread will tell JUnit 5 to run the test sequentially in the same thread. Concurrent will execute the test in different threads, potentially in parallel. The default strategy for the parallel configuration is dynamic. Dynamic computes the desired parallelism based on the number of available cores or processors multiplied by the factor that we specify in this last property. In my case, I have eight cores, so in this, we're gonna be executing concurrently with eight different threads because the factor is one. So let's run the test again and see what happens. We can see that the tests are uh, being executed concurrent and the total execution time is nine seconds. Um, but I think we can do better because we have 64 tests in our case. Each test is taking one second and we have eight cores. If we put a number bigger than eight here, let's say nine cores, nine factor of nine, um, that's going to end up having nine times a that is more than 64 uh, test cases and we should expect after running the test again that is going to take very very less than nine seconds there we go we have two seconds execution time on the entire suite for 64 tests this simple trick can be game changer for any developer working with the unit test don't forget to try it out yourself and share your experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching.